racism and the structure of the Democratic Party, we are asserting yes, sir. our right to self-determination. Right. We are asserting our right to continue the history of that great woman, yes. Fannie Lou Hamer, yes. who was beaten into a pulp yes. trying to get some parity and inclusion for black people in the Democratic Party. Yes. So to the soul and the spirit of Fannie Lou Hamer, let's give her a big hand. Yes. We are the newly established Freedom Party. Yes. Right. Yes. That's what we are. Tactically, we're going to get 15,000 signatures to get on the ballot. Tactically, we're going to get 50,000 votes and we'll be a recognized state party on the ballot. But that's not going to be what makes us a party. We are a party today, right now, as we stand here this afternoon. The Democratic Party has taken us for granted. The Republican Party has ignored us. The white left progressive parties have used us. So today, we stand saying it's time for us to be for us. Right. It's time for us to be a self-determining people. I don't know how they could fathom in the 21st century to meet in Rye, New York, establish a slave where the governor, white man, Robert Duffy, a former Republican, anti-union, wants mayoral control over schools, knows nothing about education, a former police chief in Rochester, God help the black people, Robert Duffy, a very white man. Mm -hmm. The two U.S. Senators, Gillibrand, Schumer, white. Dinopoly, right. the state controller, white. The five attorney general candidates, White. The mayor of New York, very white. The speaker of the city council, white. The public advocate, white. My jaws are getting tired saying white. So don't call us racist when we point out racism. This was supposed to be the post-racial society. Well, somebody should have told that to the New York State Democratic Party. Yeah. All right, all right. People think because we elected Barack Obama, President of the United States of America, that everything else can be white because we got a black president. But we're saying that a black president doesn't end racism. A black president doesn't assure that the 50% unemployment of black men in New York State will no longer happen. Having a black president doesn't mean that we will not have foreclosures in our community, that we will not be able to keep our, our daycare centers are closing, senior centers are closing. How does a state that has a 134 billion dollar budget, a city with a 63 billion dollar budget, close daycare centers, shuts down senior citizen centers, builds parks to play ball in, builds Yankee Stadium, builds Mets a Stadium, builds a Nets Arena, and shut down daycare and shut down senior citizens. Giving tax breaks to the rich. They don't want to tax the rich. Giving tax breaks to the rich and taking metro cards from our youth. That's right. Giving tax breaks to the rich and charging the homeless rent. What are you going to do when they don't pay? Evict them? And they'll be homeless twice? This makes absolutely no sense. This party is going to be a champion for the people. This party is going to say to this state, no longer will you be able to take us for granted. And Andrew Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, whose father, Mario Cuomo, was the king of the prison industrial complex in this state. Mario, after blacks, like they're telling us now,
support Mario. He's he's full of he's full of blacks. Right. Got in there, and some of the state legislators couldn't even get a phone call That's back. Right. Wow. After he got in office, he built more prisons than any other governor in the history of New York State. Yeah. Andrew Cuomo, when he was with Help Homes wow. Inc., yes. Help Homes Inc., a profit-making group that prays, P-R-E-Y, not A-Y, prays on our communities to build affordable housing. We had to march and demonstrate with Andre Mitchell to make sure that Help Homes Inc. gave a couple of hundred dollars for youth programs in the Genesis Homes that Andrew Cuomo and his family built. When he was in HUD, some people say that his incompetency there led to some of the housing crises we've had. So what's this coronation of Andrew Cuomo? Why would black leadership in this state coronate him when he has done nothing for us? And Robert Duffy, who is he? Where did he come from? Nobody knows no Robert Duffy. How can we coronate someone like that? So we in the Freedom Party are saying that we're going to do this party. We're going to run candidates. We're going to gain our respect. And you know what? When it's all said and done, People in this state know what the Democratic Party did right, right, was right. wrong. When it's all said and done, the masses right. in our neighborhoods will make the history. Right. It is the masses that will anoint us. Yeah. These guys didn't even have to come out and do any community petition. Right. Right. They just gave them all 25%. And I don't know how you give five AG candidates 25%. That's over 100%. That's Bernie Madoff math. I don't know how they got to do that. But they should have brought them to our community. So we're saying today we're starting a freedom party. If we didn't have to run for governor to start this, we wouldn't. But because that's their rules, and they make it very difficult for you to even get on the ballot, this is why they all gave them a, a free pass to get on the ballot. So we're going to run this summer. The petitioning process starts. On July 6th, we'll be finished by August 10th, and when we get on the ballot, we're going to get the 50,000 signatures, and a vote for this Freedom Party candidate is a vote for our dignity. It's a vote for our self-respect. It's a vote for our Yeah. Right. 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 Right